Healthy Timing and Spacing of Pregnancies project started in the year 2014. The main objective of the project is to increase access and use of voluntary family planning services within the target areas. An intervention that targets women and families to make informed decisions about delaying of the first pregnancy and uh, spacing of subsequent pregnancies. To make this possible, the project collaborates with the Ministry of Health at the national and county level. The Ministry of Health, what is doing is um, the implementation part of it, uh, whereby we do family planning methods for women of reproductive health, male, and the, those in need. In Garbatula, the project is being implemented in Malkadaka, Iresaburu, Sericho, and Modogashe. Community health committees and community health volunteers help in the implementation of the project at the community level. Tulifanya juu na chini tukishiria kiana na wazee wa vijana wenye wanajua kusoma umuhimu wake na World Vision pia vile litufanyia training walitupatia na booklets za zinaonyesha umuhimu wake. The success of this project heavily relies on the support of the men in the area. We begins to teach in this community about the child spacing from the mosque, the schools, or any society gathering. With the health club itself, people are well acquainted with the knowledge of child spacing. Even before they get married, for the last five years, the dropout rate has drastically dropped. The project has made positive impact in the communities. We've realized from even our registers, the pneumonia cases that I've been having before, nutrition cases, uh, diarrhea, used to be brought up by mothers who are really burdened with the numbers they have having. Uh, there is decline in uh, the mortality rate. Families are counting their blessings. Ukizaa mtoto, upange kwa muda wa miaka miwili, atalelewa vizuri, economically pia, Men have also embraced the project and they are now encouraging their women to take up the HTSP services. The myths surrounding modern family planning have been dispelled. Wanasema family planning ni mbaya, inafanya watu wakue tasa, hiyo sujui ni tasa, hivi kwa kansa nile tango na sujui hiyo family planning. Wamekataa wa mamo ingia msituambie, sisi nye tunajuanga na sisi nye tutumia vile tukua tunaishi zamani. Lakini badaye tukua elimisha, wakaelewa, wakaona umuhimu na wakai kumbatia. One of our greatest challenge is a language barrier. Kuna wale watu ambayo wako mistuni, ambayo tuwezi tukawafikia. Aswa sisi wale tuko hapa. Kwa sababu changamoto ni mingi, means of transport. Kwa sababu ni watu wakugura gura kila wakati. There's no telecommunication coverage in some of our primary target areas. Tulifanya juu na chini juudi, tukajaribu wa mama wakubali. Walikubali kiviao wengine hata wanaume ya wana abari. The implementing parties have some recommendations to make. We as the Minister of Health would urge the partners, the World Vision, to continue with the support because at least uh, there are also some gaps left to at least ensure more people come on board. The healthy spacing and timing of pregnancies project has had a tremendous impact in the communities. It should therefore be encouraged. Na shukuru sana World Vision kwa sababu imeleta ile vijana ama kina dada ile ile wamesoma na ni watu wa ERI na wanatumia hiyo lugha. Wanaeleza kina mama everything. Watu wamefaidika, wameelimika na tungependelea kama community hii miradi isikatizwe iendelee.